hello hello and welcome back to more worship i'm so excited that you guys came back to worship with me today before we get started let's open up with a word of prayer so let's close our eyes clear our minds and prepare our hearts for worship lord open our ears so that we may hear from you Open our minds so that we may learn from you and open our hearts so that we may love you and others more each day. Amen. So before we get started, we need to find out what our worship word is today. And today our worship word is purpose. Can you guys say purpose at home? I think I heard you guys say it. Let's hear it one more time. Say purpose. Very good. And purpose is the feeling of being determined to do or achieve something. So what are some things that you'd like to achieve? I want to finish school and learn how to be a great singer. I like to eat and I want to be a cook. Those are some very good answers. And as we move further along in our lesson, we will find out more what purpose is and how God has a purpose for each and every one of you. Today's scripture comes from Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. And it reads, you have been set apart and chosen for his purpose. So now that we've heard our scripture for the day, it's time for us to learn our movements to help us remember our scripture. So the first part is you have been. So we're gonna point out for you. And then you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna to touch your chest and you're gonna swipe down. So you have and you're going to take your two pointer fingers and you're going to touch your shoulder and you're going to touch your chest and you're going to point out so you're going to go you have been then you're going to take your hands and you're going to pinch them together and you're going to place them out this is the sign for set and you're going to close both fists but leave your thumbs pointed up and you're going to press them together and you're going to pull them apart this is the sign for apart so all together we have, you have been set apart. Let's do that again. You have been set apart and chosen. So you're gonna take your fingers, you're gonna pinch them together, you're gonna reach in, pinch, and pull your fingers back like you're picking something up. So this is the sign for chosen chosen very good then you're going to take your finger you're going to touch your temple and flick it out this is the sign for four then you're going to raise your hand and you're going to lift it higher this is the sign for his because we're talking about god right that's right so you're going to take your hand you're going to place it up and then you're going to raise it higher for his then you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna to touch your temple again and move it in a clockwise motion. This is the sign for purpose. So let's try it all together and see if we got it. We're gonna do it two times, okay? Here we go. You have been set apart and chosen for his purpose. Very good. I think you guys got it. Let's try it one more time, okay? You have been set apart and chosen for his purpose. Very good. You guys did awesome. Give yourselves a pat on the back because you guys did great. I am so proud of how well you guys did learning your scripture. So now we're gonna get ready to settle down and get ready for our story. But before we listen to our story, can you remind me, what 
what's our worship word again? That's right, it's purpose. And today we're gonna learn about a woman named Deborah and the purpose God had for her. So let's turn on those listening ears and get ready to listen to the story, A Brave New Leader. In the years after Joshua, the Israelites settled in many parts of Canaan, but they still did not have all the land that God had promised them. As time went by, they forgot their duty to God. They did not live by the rules he had given to Moses, so God no longer protected them from their enemies. One of their enemies was Jabin, king of Hazar. For 20 years, he treated the Israelites badly. At last, they cried out to God for help. At that time, their leader was a woman named Deborah. God spoke to her. One day, Deborah sent for one of the leaders of her army. She said, Barak, the God of Israel has told me you must form an army of 10,000 men and fight King Jabin. But Barak was afraid. He said, I will not go unless you go. All right, Deborah said, I'll go. Deborah went to the foot of Mount Tabor with Barak and his army. They faced the enemy. Then Deborah said to Barak, it's time to attack. God has already gone on ahead to fight for you. The army charged up the mountain. They fought the army of Jabin and all of Jabin's men fell by the sword. Not a man was left. Later, Deborah and Barak sang a song about the battle. The song gave thanks to God for leading them to victory against a cruel king. The end. So as you can see, Deborah was a prophet for God and he used her to speak to his children, build an army and go into battle. Even though the army may not have known what the outcome would be, Deborah believed that God was with them and that his purpose would be fulfilled. So today's activity is a fun gross motor activity that I call Toss for a Purpose. And how you play Toss for a Purpose, all you're gonna need are bean bags and some paper. And the paper in this activity is what I call purpose cards because you can write down your favorite positive words, your favorite inspirational quotes, scriptures that motivate you, and you're gonna turn them face down on the floor. Then you're gonna take your bean bags and you're gonna to try to toss your bean bag and have it land on one of the purpose cards. Once it lands on a purpose card, you're gonna pick it up and read it, and you're gonna see which positive quote word or scripture you landed on. So I'm going to ask Joy, Jamie, and Trey to demonstrate this activity for you guys so you know how to play it at home. guys enjoyed watching my kids demonstrate this activity and I hope you guys get a chance to try it at home. I love this game because it is a fun and positive way to affirm and believe in yourself. That you can be anything that you want to be. That you can do anything that you want to do and that God has a plan and purpose for all of us because he has great things in store for each 
and every one of us. Are you guys ready? I know I am. It is time to give God all the honor, glory, and praise in our music and movement portion. So let's stand up and give God all the praise. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to worship with me today. Before we leave, we're going to close out with a word of prayer. So I want you guys to close your eyes and repeat after me. As we leave this place, cover us with your love until we meet again once more. Amen. Thanks, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel where you can hear this lesson and other lessons that I will be sharing. Remember, you guys are destined to do great things. Keep God at the center of your life and he will guide you all the way to your purpose. I love you guys. Be safe and be blessed. Bye.